And what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Accelerators Hub for another video. It is finally time for the third part of the Accelerators Booster Pack opening. As you guys know, in the first and second parts, we did pull a bunch of rare, you know, foil cards like the Reactor Realm, so on and so forth. It's been fantastic for getting Realm cards back into my Accelerators Trading Card listing. We did pull two 3D foils in the last pack opening, which were Lightspeed and Torqued Jackhammer. But today we're going to be ripping open the last seven packs that I got out of that $1,500 shipment. We are crossing our fingers and praying that we can pull at least one more 3D foil. That will sort of be the going rate, you know, to pull three out of 20. I kind of expected to pull that many. But if we manage to pull a fourth 3D foil out of the 20, that is a very welcome surprise and that will be absolutely incredible. And honestly, guys, I really do feel like there's a Metro Realm just waiting for me in one of these seven packs that we are going to be ripping open today. So here we are, guys. We have our seven packs that we're ripping open today. These are the last seven booster packs. I'm hoping and praying that I can manage to, you know, find one more deal of booster packs on eBay. But, uh, you know, $1,500 a pop, it's not going to be happening very often. Let me tell you that. But you never know. Maybe if we pull two 3D foils in these last seven, maybe I'll take the plunge and buy some more booster packs just uh, on the off chance that you get a 3D foil, you know. But uh, like I said, this is $525 worth of booster packs that we're opening up today. So another half of a grand. Let's go ahead and jump into this first pack here, guys. So as we're ripping open this first pack here, like I always say, Jump Jets is the number one card that we're looking for. I will be, I was really hoping to pull a Jump Jets out of these 20 booster packs, but uh, it just may not happen for us. It is just an incredibly rare card. And uh, like I said, I know there's like seven of you guys that are all missing Jump Jets. So uh, hopefully, I'm hoping against hope we can pull one in this pack opening today. But if not, the next best thing would be obviously 3D foil cards like the Metro Realm. I uh, really don't want any more wrong way cards. I've got plenty of those. I I'm good on wrong way. But, uh, well, I'd rather have wrong way than nothing. But uh, anyways, let's jump into this pack opening here. We need some Realm Foils and some Accelerator Charger Foils for sure. So we've got the Blizzard Realm in the first card. Then we've got Torqued Jaw Jammer. Vectra Nitrium. Behemoth Mosquitoes. Hyper Drift Tech. Lots of great rare vehicle cards here. Then we've got the Junk Realm. Vector Thrust. Hot Wire. Three, oh man, I almost said 3D foil. I really did think this was a 3D foil, guys. I was kind of, I was kind of trying to count the cards in my head, and I thought this was uh, the card that the 3D foil would have come on. But we have a Nitrox 3 foil, definitely not too shabby. I got really excited. Oh, it almost got me again. I thought for sure that was the Jump Jets hardened underbelly. Man, these guys are—they're torturing me today. Then we've got Pick a Line, Ice Shrapnel. What's next? What comes after Ice Shrapnel? Oh, teleport. Never mind. It wasn't one of the patterns like I thought it was. Then Turn and Burn and Dodging Disaster is the last card for the first pack. So a Nitrox 3 pull. And let's jump into the second pack here. And you know, I always do enjoy videoing these booster pack openings because with all the issues they had with quality control on accelerators, or at least, you know, I'd consider it quality control. There's a lot of errors and discrepancies in some of this stuff. I wouldn't be surprised someday if somebody managed to open up a booster pack and they found like literally a pack full of 15 3D foils. It would not surprise me at all. I mean, you'd be like, wow, you never expected to see that happen. But let's be honest, anything is pretty much possible with these accelerators, cards and cars. So uh, who knows on the off chance that something absolutely crazy happens, you know, like the misprinted jump jets that we pulled the last time we did a pack opening video. You know, you always want to have your camera rolling. You want to have documentation just in case you pull something like out of this world. So that way you have proof. Then we have Maze Minotaur, the Chrome Realm, Hyper Beans, Vectra Octanium, Lightning Rod, Hyper Spectite, Downshift, Proto Sharks, Foil Shell Skin. Another not too rare foil card, but foil cards are still foil cards, you know, and I've been running real low. Torch Rolling Thunder. Shortcut? I think that's the first shortcut card we pull out of any of these booster packs. Then we have Guts, Turn and Burn, Dodging Disaster, and the last card is a Balance Box. We've got Impervious Tires, Slip Grip, The Monument Realm, Second Wind O2 Tank, Folding Corners, Gear Crush, Burnout, Torqued, Riveted, and a Foil Hyper Reverb. There we go. That is a rare Foil Vehicle card. That is awesome. Hyper Reverb and Hyper Chicane are definitely two that I've been struggling to get in stock. Hyper Reverb, that is a very, very welcome pull. Much preferred to Shell Skin. Let's keep going here. Just in case there's something crazy, we've got RD08 Version 2, Sprout Road, Tweak Box, Nightlife, 
Slam Ram Hyperpod, and the Swamp Realm to wrap it up. All right, four packs to go here, and it's funny. So we pulled two three foils so far out of 16 booster packs through all the pack openings. Um, I was joking about maybe getting a four three, like a third and a fourth 3D foil, and uh, that really would be incredible. But at this point, I really just need to get that third one because if I only pull two 3D foils out of 20 packs, that is pretty terrible luck, and uh, we're definitely losing a lot of money. <laughs> so let's keep going here and see if we can turn this around. We got Choke Valves, Visor Mask, Maze Minotaur, the Chrome Realm, Hyper Beams, come on 3D Foils, Vectra Octanium, Lightning Rod, 3D Foil Hyper Synchro, guys. That is why it pays off to complain. Every time I complain, I get something good. 3D Foil Hyper Synchro, that is the third 3D Foil out of these 20 packs. That is awesome. Thank goodness, that's a weight off my shoulders because I really was starting to get worried. Like, am I really not gonna pull a third one out of 20 packs? 3D Foil Hyper Synchro, what an awesome, awesome card art. Can you guys see that wheel, that front wheel turning? Absolutely wicked, wicked, wicked card art. So that is our third 3D Foil out of the 20 packs. That is incredible. Let's keep going here. Uh, I can enjoy this pack opening now. There's a weight off my shoulders. Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Vector Magnesium, the Cyber Grid Realm. There we go. That is another awesome rare pull. That is probably a $25 realm card. Very popular, sells very, very quickly. That is awesome. I honestly did not know that you could pull the Cyber Grid Realm out of a booster pack. I was kind of thinking it was a three pack exclusive. Then we have Wind Shark, Hairpin Turn, Dodging Disaster, and Carnivorous Plants to wrap it up. All right, so now we have three more booster packs to go here. We can see the, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, unfortunately. The, uh, I absolutely love ripping open these packs, man. But let's see if we can go out with one more 3D foil. Like I said, if we could pull four 3D foils out of 20 packs, that would be absolutely incredible. We have three more shots to do it. Let's see what we got here. We've got Visor Mask, Maze Minotaur, the Chrome Realm again, Hyper Beams, Vectra Octanium. These packs are all like mirror images of each other. Lightning Rod, I bet you they did all come out of the same case. Hyper Spectite. 3D Foil Phantom Form, guys. Let's go. We just pulled back-to-back -back 3D Foil cards. We pulled Hyper Synchro, and then the card that's in Hyper Synchro, right there, we pulled in the Phantom Form card. Unreal. Back-to-back -back 3D Foils. I've only ever done that once before. Let's go, guys. This is the fourth 3D foil out of the 20 packs that we bought, and we still have two packs to go. 3D foil, phantom form, absolutely unreal. In my opinion, the best card art in the card game. You can see the card being sucked into the portal. 3D foil, phantom form, guys. Back-to-back -back 3D foils, phantom form, and hyper synchro. That is unreal. That makes my whole entire month. Forest Inferno, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Vector Magnesium. The only thing that could make it better is if we pulled a Jump Jets. Then we've got Magnesium. I should probably just not be greedy. Wall Crawl, Arrow Package, and Nightlife. So back-to-back -back 3D foils. And that pretty much guarantees us that we will make a profit on these packs. I think I did the math and it was like if I pulled three 3D foils out of the 20 packs, I would pretty much like break even, maybe make, you know, 50 bucks or so. But with four 3D foils, we are almost guaranteed to make a profit. And uh, that kind of ensures that this is going to be the best set of pack openings that we've ever done on the channel with uh, the back-to-back -back 3D foils. That's incredible. And we still have two packs to go here, guys. We still have a shot to pull a fifth 3D foil. That would be unreal. Five 3D foils in 20 packs would be absolutely incredible. That's one every four packs. And we were going to have a chance to pull it off here. Let's see what we got in this sixth pack. RDO4 version two, that's one that I have not seen in a while. Escher's World, okay, so this might be from a different case because uh, the pattern is very different. Meteor Shower, Hyper Jump, Grappler Claw, Rubbin' is Racing, Torqued Hollow Back, Vectra Excellium, and a Battering Bubble Foil Card. That is one of the ones that we are definitely looking for, a foil battering bubble back in stock. That is awesome. Easily a quick $32 to $35 pull. Let's keep going. Night Sight. Wow, these packs are just giving and giving. Kamikaze Semis, Gyro Stabilizer, Carnivorous Plants, 
wall crawl and the last card is a magnesium so we have one pack to go we're down to the last and final pack guys does this have a fifth 3d foil in it the odds are probably not good because we already pulled four out of 20 but uh, that would be absolutely unreal to pull a fifth one let's go ahead and see what we've got here if i could get it open maybe it's a sign that i should just keep it sealed come on there we go all right so last booster pack here we've got Impervious Tires, Slip Grip, the Monument Realm. I could be wrong, but I think the last time we had this pattern, we pulled a 3D foil. Second Wind O2 Tank. I think this was the one that had the Cyber Grid Realm too. Folding Corners. Can we go out with one more 3D foil, guys? I'm going as slowly as possible to preserve the Anticipation Gear Crush. Burnout. Is it this card? Torque Riveted. Come on. 3D, oh, I almost said 3D foil again. It is an acid bath foil card. Definitely one of the rarer foil cards for sure. Not too shabby. Still feel a little let down. I was really hoping to get one more 3D foil, guys. That would have been incredible. But let's keep going here. Magnetic Bounce, that's an awesome one. That's another one that I've been out of stock on. Then we have Navigator. That's another one I was out of stock on. RDO6 version two. Aero Package. Wheel Shield. And the last card is an Asphalt anchor so no jump jets cards in 20 booster packs but we pulled four 3d foils and probably more impressive than the four 3d foils is the fact that we pulled four different ones and uh we didn't pull any of the sweeper strike octo rod or wrong way cards which is honestly a blessing because uh those cards there's been a couple of those pop up on ebay lately and they just haven't been selling too well they're not super popular whereas all the vehicle 3d foils the excel charger ones and the metro realm very very popular cards so we will have no issues selling those at all so two 3d foils in Today's pack opening, we pulled the Hyper Synchro and the Phantom Form back to back, guys. Absolutely incredible. That saved this whole shipment of booster packs. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. So we pulled four 3D foils and 20 packs total. Absolutely incredible. Definitely blessed to have luck like that this time around because uh, I've opened plenty of packs before that uh, weren't so lucky. Like I said, the first uh, booster packs that I ever opened on the channel, or before I opened on the channel, because I opened nine booster packs that I went on auction for like 200 bucks like a year and a half ago or two years ago back when they were actually cheap they're like 25 bucks a pack and I opened all nine and I didn't pull a single 3d foil out of it so uh, it definitely could have gone a lot worse but we had pretty good fortune here today guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys be sure to smash the like button for the two 3d foil pulls and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys